these are stepper cards, which become pre-scored, which is pretty fabulous when you're needing to make things in on a very quick timeline. You basically just fold at the scored piece and you've got it already ready and set to go. So you add the first paper on the first panel. You'll then add the second sheet of paper on the second panel, as so. And then you've got the base of your card ready to go. We have these decoupage packs that work really well on cards. Um, the idea is to create dimension on your cards. Um, each one of the pages comes with the steps in which to add each element onto the card. You'll then place them in the order of which they need to go in. So you will start with D1, you'll then go to D2, you'll then go to D3, D4, and then D5, which will then create a dimensional element on your card. So what I've already done is I've already placed the first one off of the sheet in which they came in. Um, and as a side little tip, I like to punch them out all at once, but before you take them out of the sheet of paper, make sure you label each one of them. That way you don't get confused on which order that they go in when you're layering them. So from that point, what you'll wanna do is add your foam squares because obviously we are building dimension what it's all about. So then you'll add the next one, which is the next one in the line. And then you'll add the last one. After you're done, basically you can add anything you want. You can stamp a little sentiment or add a little sticker. I think this one's cute for a happy birthday. A lot of people enjoy getting three-dimensional cards in the mail. I know I would. You can also take it off the page and do home decor projects. And just so you know, we also have a whole range of papers and embellishments which allows you to create beautiful projects such as you see.